Again, we want to thank our runners. We've had a We're born to you live here on Young Street for the Sporting Life 10K on Mother's Day. It's live from last week, episode 177. Let's go! <laughs> my fellow Geo Walkers to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So quickly, throwing back to just last night, where we were walking the doggo at night back in my hometown, Chewie had found this bunny just hopping around until it hid under a fence where the dog just couldn't reach it. But anyways, going back to the condo afterwards to get a decent sleep last night, I had woken up remembering that my buddy Rob had posted this Live Nation ad. One that y'all remember I definitely took advantage of last year. But with this year, utilizing my RBC Music profile, I was able to get this amazing $25 Live Nation Music Week promo. And guys, this year, summer of 2024, I was able to do this. Sean Paul, so may go so then. Get four tickets to see the legend Sean Paul in concert later on in August. So if any of y'all are interested, just message me or post a comment below to let me know that you want to come with. And I'll see if I have any extra tickets for y'all to join. But moving on, after I was able to secure tickets this morning, the cousin Elrond, seeing him for the first time in a while, wanted to come over to do something that we did once last year, to utilize our condo tennis courts to play some tennis earlier today. So after going to the courts and not being able to hold a real rally because we were just that rusty, I decided to play coach, taking him through several of these three minute intense tennis drills, making sure that he had improved his form until he was comfortable to challenge me in one set of singles tennis. But after I won the match six love, he treated the wife and I to go to this hot spot of food that we haven't been to in a bit. Going to Lee's Haka, number one, to enjoy all this food. And to witness Elrond try his first taste at the lollipop chicken here. How is it? The breading. It is crunchy. It's good. The breading has like flavor. <laughs> and after we had a good time catching up and sharing this meal with Elrond, I took the doggo Chewy, of whom we are currently dog sitting for, on a mid afternoon stroll around the block in the area, before getting ready to go in tonight for my first of a set of night shifts. Guys, looking at this reaction that I had outside the hospital post shift, y'all can tell that last night's night shift was both stressful and busy. So, just like previous times I've done this to cope, on a specially themed Make Happy Day today, where you can see that the restaurant was fully decorated, and with all proceeds going to families in need, I went to my local McDonald's and got this stress reliever of a Happy Meal delivered straight to my table, and enjoyed my breakfast of the day. I then got home to take the doggo out for a pool shift morning walk where he got me active pulling me to watch him chase some squirrels go up the trees before I got to go home to take a quick less than three hour pool shift nap. I then took Chewy out for his long afternoon walk around the area prior to be welcomed home by our guests of the condo cooking in the kitchen. <laughs> and instead of staying focused to work on my video edits, we watched and witnessed the dog do his usual doggo things, 
being all cute and distracting so I couldn't get any of my live from last week editing done. But anyways, before we wrap it up for the night, we just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my former roommates who I used to do late night adventures through the path with when we were both living at Wysick. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jeffers. Happy birthday, Jeff. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So, we started off this morning by waking up to this beautiful sunrise sky after only a four and a half hour sleep to walk this doggo not knowing that I'll actually be spending a lot of time with him today. So, after driving this full mini carpool downtown to drop off the wife for her day shift, we brought Giselle home before going to the area of James Gardens walking around this beautiful park with all the forests and trails that you guys can see here by the Humber River. I then brought the dog cross town in the mini to the PetSmart at Kennedy Commons to try to find another new toy for him here. Having him guide me while we were walking the aisles before going to another PetSmart in the area walking me through the location of this store where I was actually thinking about getting him a spot in the pet hotel here. Okay, bye Chewie. Gonna bring you to the pet hotel. Time to check in. For maybe just one night so that I could actually sleep in for once. Just kidding, guys. But yeah, next up, we continued our pet shop hopping day by seeing these parking signs at a local pet value, another store where the dog dragged me around to, before finally ending up at Ren's Pets Depot, trying to do a little window shopping once again, obtaining this record just after 12 o'clock noon time. Already? It's only 12 noon. And guys, in honor of this, I just may have bought something for the little dog. Chewy, ready for a new gift? <laughs> and afterwards, while making our way home, witnessing live and in person from the front seat of the Mini, the Eglinton LRT and its train finally doing some test runs. And upon arriving back to the condo, it looks like I just may have tired the doggo out so much that he passed out on the couch. But yeah, while he was dead asleep, I was able to meet up one of my cousins that you guys know I randomly ran into during my Florida trip earlier this year, who had gifted me a bib for a 10K race set for this weekend. Anyways, when the doggo woke back up, I brought him in a mini to show off this new look with the new gift that I gave to him. Taking him on a brief walk around downtown while waiting for the wife to get off her day shift. <laughs> Hi. Until she was able to exit work and have me surprise her with this new accessory for the doggo. Surprise? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. uh -oh. uh -oh. Cherry. Uh-oh. That looks so silly. We next went to a place that kind of sounds familiar, but is not necessarily in the same location. Going to George's Barbecue on Pape to pick up a takeout whole chicken family meal, which you guys can see the wife and I enjoyed for dinner earlier tonight. Guys, on lack of sleep after staying up late till early this morning to edit Live From Last Week episode 176 that came out a couple hours later, I only got about 
three hours of rest before waking up with swollen eyes to walk the little doggo helping him hunt for squirrels along the way and after being tired enough to both be passed out on the couch I took him with his new bow tie that I got him just yesterday out for an afternoon walk around the area for a little bit pulling me once again to chase a couple of other squirrels near the plaza anyways moving on to dinner tonight where we went to visit a couple of friends that we haven't seen in quite a while checking out the condo in the lakeshore west area and bringing with us the one and only doggo chewy to roam around our friend's place and have this amazing sushi feast at Janelin and David's condo. And after with the wife playing this new board game that they have here, one that's called Doom Links, we went to an area that we've been to not too long ago to walk the Doggo Chewy along the Lakeshore West waterfront pathway. So after a fun night over at Janelin and David's, where the dog Chewy evidently enjoyed their bath mat over here, just after midnight, we took the dog out for another night walk to meet up with Giselle and Paul near the Rogers Center to take them on a mini carpool after Paul's car was locked inside of a parking garage. With us making sure that Chewy was definitely buckled in, then spontaneously doing something that would scratch off a bucket list item of mine, making a trip one hour north of the city at an undisclosed location, checking out a phenomenon that I didn't even see when I made a trip to Iceland, and only seeing them as a display at the Eaton Center last year, witnessing on a rare sighting the one, the only, the Northern Light. I mean, just as you guys already know, the videos that we took just don't do it justice. But some of the photos that we took early, early this morning were just stunning. And special thanks to G and the wife for capturing some of these amazing images. But yeah, after the doggo was able to feel a little bit more at home at this undisclosed location, and me waking up earlier this morning after a three hour sleep, witnessing this beautiful view just outside the bedroom. I got up seeing the wife's messages of playing hide and seek and figured to take this first person point of view video of 10 minutes of trying to find them until I actually found them. Anyways, relaxing for a little bit after seeing this doggo wanting to try to jump up on the bed, we decided along with the dog to do a quick little tour of the outdoor area of this waterfront property, doing a photo shoot and getting a couple of paparazzi photos taken of us here before heading out to the local Sunset Grill to enjoy a lovely breakfast slash brunch on the outdoor patio with these guys. And after driving back, dropping off Paul downtown, G to Scarborough, and taking a quick evening nap, we got Chewy dressed up in his raincoat and rain boots gear cause it was raining outside, taking him on a wet walk around the neighborhood for his nighttime potty session, before the stepmom got this great idea of giving him a bath to wrap up his evening. Three. Looks petrified. <laughs> Please don't do the shake. No. No shakies. <laughs> <laughs> Look at birds, bees, bust a shawl. Oh, it's so thin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Always waiting for Jay. But yeah, before we wrap it up for our evening tonight, we just have a quick belated birthday greeting to one of my friends from my high school days who I remember living just down the street from me when we were younger. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Fallon. Happy birthday, Fallon. We also got a birthday greeting to one of my beach volleyball friends who I hope to play with this summer at the beaches of Ash Bridges. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Brent. Happy birthday, Brent. We next got a birthday shout out to one of my high school friends who I remember was one of the most physically strongest people I knew. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Tyler. Happy birthday, Tyler. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my childhood friends who I remember playing foot hockey with at recess during our Mother Teresa days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Bradburn. Happy birthday, Bradburn. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So first of all, I wanted to wish all mothers and mother figures out there a happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, guys. But with more on that later, we just have a quick birthday greeting to one of my elementary and high school friends from back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Vanessa. Happy birthday, Vanessa. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. But yeah, after sleeping about four hours last night, woken up by this grumpy puppy at 6 a.m. who was barking at me this morning, being all dramatic and wanting some attention, I tried and tried until I was finally able to get him off the couch, taking him on a nice morning walk so that he could relieve himself before walking the neighborhoods of Young and Davisville, getting him to exercise a little bit more in this area, having Chewy accompany me to the location of the start of a race, taking him to his first ever live race event, I believe, randomly running into a couple of my classmates back from my Ryerson days. Yo, at this morning life 10K, yo, special guest, Jordan Katie. <laughs> and where you remember my cousin Char from earlier this week, Convince me to come out of my retirement from running races to run in today's Sporting Life 10K on Mother's Day.
So after finishing up my race today and being crowned with this medal, as well as taking some post-race pictures with the doggo and the wife to celebrate my achievements, I'm remembering that I had a random idea while I was running in the young and college area. And that was to go to do a quick workout at the local Planet Fitness here in the middle of my 10K race. So I decided to do a couple of exercises on some machines at this location for a little bit. Even taking some time to say that I'm fed up with running and spending some time on the coin operated massage machines to relax while watching yesterday's highlights of the Blue Jays on the big screen before going back out and resuming my race to the finish line. But moving on afterwards, I made my way to a local Catholic parish for Sunday morning Catholic Mass at the St. Mary's Roman Catholic Church before getting some fresh Domino's pizzas this afternoon and surprising Tita Mune just outside the Rogers Center. Happy Mother's Day, Mom! These are for you! Happy Mother's Day, I love you! Ah. And we got pizza for you! We'll find out. All right, let's go in. But yeah, for Mother's Day this year, I decided to treat the money to some pizza, flowers, and a hundred dollar tickets to today's Blue Jays game, where we had decent views of the diamond with the Rogers Center opening its roof for the first time this season and made great memories with each other during this game. And after worrying about how I'm going to get to night shift after this very, very busy day and several nights of sleepless rest, I miraculously got this news. So work just called me asking if I could take the day off and they said no work today so I can spend See, more time, time with mom. Happy Mother's Day! So what does that mean, Mom? Relax, no stress, massage. <laughs> it also means we can go drinking. Yeah. <laughs> no driving today. No driving today. No. So after this comment, I did something that I've always wanted to do buying one of these $55 bottles of wine for my mom for Mother's Day that had to be opened and poured out by one of the members of the staff before I can enjoy it in this carafe and bringing it to her as a surprise to Tita Mone. Excuse me ma'am, did you order some wine? And after witnessing this new age container technology we were able to pour out a couple of glasses here and enjoy a cheers to Mother's Day. Okay. Cheers. cheers! Happy Mother's Day! Good health! <laughs> but after a disappointing loss from the Blue Jays today, before we parted ways for the day, we cheered ourselves up with some Hagen Dazs ice cream. Hagen Dazs, cheers! Anyways, I'm off early, I know, back to the condo. Now that I have the night off of work, to shower up and try to get some quality rest, and I'll just catch you guys again tomorrow. Guys, I was just so tired yesterday. I had forgotten about this cameo that happened during the Blue Jays game. Y'all see? Check out who I saw at the Rogers Center. Hey, Jason! <laughs> but anyways, when I got back to the condo and the dog knowing that it was his last night here in Scarborough before his owners pick him up, I would passed out on the couch with Chewy wanting to spend some quality time with me. But after begging and waking me up after I only got five hours of sleep last night, I got up zombie walking and feeling pretty sore after doing that 10k race yesterday. Also getting in more than 
33,000 steps. I got up with my eyes still swollen trying to walk this guy outside on his last morning walk here in Scarborough before taking several upon several more naps throughout the day and the wife doing her best impression of a sleeping, dreaming Chewy. And later in the afternoon, after coordinating a surprise tennis meetup with a couple of my cousins, who both didn't know that the other one was coming. Oh, what's the deal, yo? <laughs> yo! Surprise! <laughs> we had, once again, a tennis session with the cousin Elron, with my other cousin, the one, the only, Louis. <laughs> now quickly before we call it a night we have a birthday shout out to one of my university friends who i remember playing beach volleyball with back in the day this birthday shout out goes out to you rochelle happy birthday rochelle and we've also got a birthday shout out to one of my other beach volleyball friends who you guys remember i played alongside with during that halloween beach party. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Maria. Happy birthday, Maria. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And so with that, guys, we'll wrap up this week's Laugh From Last Week episode right here. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Gia Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.